Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a minute and we want to test fit the Thule Apex XT. This happens to be the four bike version. We're doing it on our 2017 Ford Escape. Now this is going to be a really good bike rack for most situations where you need to transport several bikes, get them to your destination. This is a hanging style rack, so all the bikes are going to hang down here. This is the four bike like we talked about. The four bike and the two bike are going to have seven inches of spacing between the cradles. Makes it really nice and convenient for getting our bike in. And then there's also a five bike version available. The cradles on those are just shifted a little bit closer together. They're closer to about five and a quarter. So typically what you would see on a normal kind of hanging style rack. Now something I like about this rack is the security that it offers. See, so we're going to have our cable here. It's going to come out over all four or five or two of the bikes, whatever we decide on. And it secures those to our rack. Uses the Thule one key system here. And we have that same key on the knob for the anti-rail device. We'll show you that once we get the bike unloaded and everything here. Now as far as holding the bike on the rack, we've got two cradles here. This is gonna be for our top tube. We're gonna have a third one here on the back side underneath. That's gonna be at all positions. That's to help prevent that front and back sway that we typically see with a rack of this type. Now to release them, we just have to push in on the cam buckle there, feed our strap out just like that. The straps are nice and soft. They lay out of the way pretty well. And the cradles are gonna offer good protection. Let me get the bike out of the way and kind of show you what I'm talking about. If you look in the base of them there, there's that gray rubberized material. It's going to help absorb any road shock as we head down the road. There are also some grooves in there, so if you have cables or lines, we kind of give them some place to lay. The anti-rattle, or I'm sorry, anti-sway cradle here. You can see same type of material in there. Gives it a nice soft ride. And inside each of our straps, we're going to have a little bit of rubberized material there. Also helping to protect the finish on our bike. Make sure we have a good ride as we head down the road. Tuck these straps away here. Next thing we'll do is give you the overall measurement. Now this is gonna be the same on the four and five bike. The arm length does not change. The two bike, of course, that's gonna be quite a bit shorter there. What we found is with those cradles getting closer together on the five bike, it's a little bit tougher to get the bikes loaded up. But all in all, it's not that big of a challenge, something we're kinda of used to. Take a look here, looks like the fully extended position, we're going to be about 39 and a half inches from the rear bumper on our Escape. But we do have the option of folding these arms down. Once folded down in the storage position, you can see that's going to bring it a lot closer to the back of our vehicle. It's going to help us out when it comes time to park in tighter parking spots, parking garages, maybe be able to get it fit in the garage without actually having to take the rack off. In this position, we're about 12 and a half inches from the rear of our vehicle. The closest point of the rack to our vehicle is going to be the tab that sticks off right here on the front. That is about three and a half inches away. Really no issue of it going up and making contact with the vehicle. And overall our ground clearance is going to be, going to be about 11 and a half inches. Should help us get over most things or most obstacles that we have. Something else I like, you, if you look right here. We've got a lever. By raising that lever, it allows us to tilt this rack out and away from our vehicle. Plenty of room there. It's going to give us pretty much unobstructed access as we load and unload different items in the back. And one more thing. When we tilt it up, we'll have to pull that lever to get it in the upright position. But this is the Snug Tight Stinger. This offers complete tool-free insulation. But you can see how nice and solid it is in there. We've got this knob, and if I rotate that forward, or counterclockwise, you see all that movement and play? With no tools whatsoever, we're able to tighten this down by hand. I like to move the rack around a little bit as I do it, just to make sure I'm getting all the play out of there that's possible. And then we can use that same key that we use to lock the bikes here to lock that and it just makes that handle to where it free spins so nobody can back it off. Really nice feature to keep everything nice, safe and secure. 
in my opinion, overall, this is going to be a very good bike rack to use. It offers a lot of security and also a lot of protection for the bikes that we're going to take with us. Whether you go with the two, the four, or the five, I think it'll be a reasonable choice for your needs. Now, we do have some footage of this out on the test course, so we're going to take a look at that now. Once that's done, that's all there is for our test fit. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 